All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the recoupler mod, which is being made by forum user Boots. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability for you to take, say, a tricoupler and use it to recombine your multi-stack vessel back into a single stack for the next stage, while, and here's the key on this, maintaining full structural integrity, which is something, oh, that's just so very powerful in shipbuilding and frankly, something I'm surprised Squad hasn't fixed yet as it opens up so many building possibilities. So let's jump into the VAB and talk about how exactly this works and perhaps a bit more as to what the issue is we're fixing as I don't know if my intro bit quite explained it correctly. Now one thing of course we've had in this game for a very long time are things like bicouplers, tricouplers, and quad couplers which have been beautiful tools for allowing us to take a single stack vessel and then turning it into a multi-stack vessel. And it was a wonderful thing, because then, you know, you just stack some engines on the bottom and you're good to go and happy days. But what if, for instance, you then want to take this bi-coupled multi-stack vessel and turn it back in to one stack? And you know you've all tried this at some point. And if you did, you have probably noticed very quickly there's a problem. A very, very big problem. Right now, only this fuel tank here is actually connected to this bottom bicoupler. This other fuel tank is not, and so it's only attached at the top, but not the bottom, which means we now have a double wide ship only being connected at one half of it. So in flight, this could cause a lot of issues, especially if you have multiple tanks stacked so that this is a lot longer. You end up having, say on this particular vessel, one fuel tank that's attached and the other that could potentially be moving around. And even if it's not moving around, without that bottom connection, it is a weak point and you put the right sort of torsion on this thing and it's gonna rip your ship to pieces because it just doesn't have full structural integrity. And what this mod does is it makes it have that, which is a beautiful thing because previously in the game, how we would fix this issue is by taking a strut and manually stitching the two together, which frankly is a band-aid on the issue. It isn't a perfect fix as still given the right sort of torsion, you could still end up ripping the thing apart. But what this mod does is it sees that this bicoupler has an attachment node that is actually touching the attachment node on this fuel tank. And even though it shouldn't be connected because of the whole parent-child relationship with how building works in this game, it's gonna force it to work when you go to the launch pad. It creates a forced, sort of faked structural connection, but it is a structural connection nonetheless. And that allows you to build some kind of crazy things. For instance, if we go down to my recoupler ship that I built earlier, we have this monstrosity, which, as you can see, is only actually connected from top to bottom by these fuel tanks down here. These other two stacks of fuel tanks are not connected to the bottom of the ship. And that means if we went to launch this, these two stacks would start flailing about causing issues. At worst, they could start flailing about, hit this stack too hard and blow up. At maybe the best, it would wobble around, causing the flight to be a bit more difficult. But if we go out to the launch pad, thanks to recoupler, we're not going to have that problem because all three stacks are solid. As you can see here, remember, it's only the bottom stack which technically is actually connected, and these top two shouldn't be but have been forced to. Now, if I wipe to a video I took earlier of this exact same vessel, you can see that those top two stacks of fuel tanks are hanging down. And if we were to, <laughs> God forbid, launch a rocket sideways for some reason, well, that would cause us a lot of issues. 
they would wobble and explode and they'd all go to hell and poor Jebediah would most likely die. But back to recouplers, we have, well, an actual solid vessel, which theoretically we could take off. I actually haven't tried to, but with it being structurally sound now, and in fact more structurally sound than if we just put struts, because these are now three solidly connected tanks, we could theoretically launch this thing. Oh God, please work, please work. Oh, it barely did. But yes, it actually was able to take off and these tanks aren't wobbling around as they would normally in the game, which is enough of a demonstration on that as frankly, I'm surprised the ship launched without exploding. So let's go back to the vehicle assembly building and look at another use for this. These bicouplers and tricouplers aren't the only problem we've had in the past with parts of your ship not connecting to one another. Another is, say, this Recoupler 2 vessel here where I've made a ring. It's another thing a lot of us have tried in the game when building space stations. It's fun to have rings on your space stations. And making them out of fuel tanks, well, frankly, is just useful because now you have a lot of fuel resources up there. But the problem previously in the game is that it starts here, it's connected to the back of this cockpit and worms its way around to this last tank. And in the normal game, we would have had to add struts here to connect it back to the start point. But now, with Recoupler, if we actually go out to the launch pad once again, we will have a solid ring that is perfectly intact. A bit wobbly, of course, because it's only being held together by one civility enhancer, but the important part is this fuel tank at the end has been forced to connect with the cockpit at the beginning. And again, if we wipe back to a video I took of this same craft earlier, you can see it's basically a freaking slinky. That end piece is just dropping down because it, it's not being held together with, uh, unless of course, again, you used struts to hold it. And this opens up just so many, so many freaking possibilities of what you could potentially build in this game. Things that you couldn't have done before because simply that strange parent-child part relationship that this game runs on just wouldn't allow you to do. But now we can make all sorts of crazy wacky designs so long as of course you have a recoupler installed. Which now that I'm thinking about what all I've said on this video, I'm pretty sure at some point I accidentally probably said decoupler rather than recoupler, but eh, that's bound to happen. But yeah, that is it for this mod. It is a wonderful tool that you really, really should go and download, have a try for yourself, and have fun with it. Design all sorts of crazy ringed vessels and bicoupled, tricoupled, and quadcoupled things, and just go and have fun, enjoy yourself with building. Uh, but that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode when we will be looking at what hopefully is yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one! Goodbye, Jebediah! Oh, he actually survived. The cockpit lived. I'll be darned. Well, good for him. Later, folks!